these Devin guys, Harvick? These guys early in the season, they just race once every 21 days. <laughs> That's right. The first three races. Adam. And we talked about the 81 of David Starr, who's second behind Kevin Harvick. They not only topped off the fuel tank when they came down there at 113, they also put on an old set of right side tires. So that will try and help him manage through these final laps. Still going to be tough to hang with the leaders, but they did put some rubber on the right side, albeit a bit old, Ray. Adam, a little bit of a strategy move for Kevin Harvick here. He said on the radio, I'd really like to have the bottom side for the restart here, but because David Starr had such a good pit stop there, I'm going to take the high side, and that pins Kyle Busch down to the inside. Harvick thinking he can use his strategy of the high side start to break away from the field here and put a little distance between he and the 18. He, uh... Harvick hasn't been watching our restarts. The How guy long in, do you think he's going to stay behind the 81 truck? The guy in third place has the advantage, so... He may look up and say, where'd he come from? Now, how did that happen? But I, 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 I think I agree. I think that uh, he is. I Kevin, think it was great strategy. Yeah, if you can't pass till you cross the start finish line. So if Kevin gets a good start and he's assuming that Star won't because his tires won't hook up and go, then that'll gap Kyle Busch away from Kevin as they go down to turn one. On paper, I like the way this sets up. Good for Kevin Harvick, bad for Ron Hornaday. You saw them continuing to work on that number 33 truck. Here we go. Green flag back in the air. Kevin Harvick with a huge restart. Just like we thought, he tried to get on the gas, and the tires are all hot and probably got a little debris on it. Wouldn't go. Pin Kyle in the back. Yeah, actually let Todd Bodine get out in between them. So Todd right now is in the second spot. What a smart move by Kevin Harvick. It worked perfectly. 14 laps of racing to go. Here comes Kyle Busch, Kevin. It worked Kyle perfectly for a little while. It's not going to work long. <laughs> Todd Bodine running second in between Kyle Busch and Kevin Harvick. How about Ricky Carmichael back there racing for the fourth position? He has been on it. Eric Almirola in the 51 is going to take fourth away. Todd Bodine's looking to the high side of our leader, Kevin Harvick. Can he get there? Remember, Todd Bodine has won 10 of these Races on mile and a half racetracks, including one here. Adam Alexander. A moment ago, Phil talked about how aggressive Ricky Carmichael was in that outside lane. He has never recorded a top five finish. His best career mark, seventh at Kentucky last summer. That two, a mile and a half racetrack. And how big would this be for this young team, Turner Motorsports, to record a solid run like this? You talk about learning on the job, Carmichael getting it done here today. This is by far, I think, Phil, his best performance from green flag to where we are now. He's been, uh, he's been steadily making progress and he's shown that he has the speed to run with these guys. Yeah, no matter what happens from here on out, that's been a very solid performance. I just hope Ricky can get the end, run these other 12 laps, and get him the finish that he deserves. 11 to go when they cross the stripe. Kevin Harvick in front of Kyle Busch, Todd Bodine, Eric Almirola, and Steve Wallace up into the top five now. Looks like Kevin's truck might be a little tighter than it's been all day long. Did you notice, Phil, as he exited two there, he didn't keep it right on the yellow line like we've seen all day. And Kyle's certainly been able to keep pace with Kevin, something he hasn't been able to do all day. We're coming down here just, just outside of 10 laps to go. 10 to go. Kevin Harvick has never won here in a truck. Kyle Busch has won here four times. Kyle Busch trying to make it five wins. Kevin Harvick trying to get win number one in 2010. Right? If Harvick's able to win today, this will be the trifecta at Atlanta Motor Speedway for him. That'll be the second track that he's done that at, winning in all three of NASCAR's top series. He's also done it at Phoenix. But how about this? Lap 24, no adjustments. Lap 54, no adjustments. Lap 113, half a pound air pressure all the way around. I'd say they've had that two truck pretty dialed in. And remember, brand new equipment. Never saw a racetrack till yesterday. Look at this battle for third. Eric Amarola has been all over Todd Bodine. You can see Steve Wallace lurking back there behind his teammate Amarola in fifth. Is Kyle Busch? Whoa! Ooh, Todd got a little bit sideways. I think that scared Eric. <laughs> <laughs> he got out of the gas just a bit. So I was going to ask, is Kyle Busch laying back right now or is he giving it everything he's got? He's giving yeah. it all he's got and it doesn't look like it's going to be enough, Rick. You can see the last four times Kevin Harvick had a brand new vehicle. Ray told us at the very top of the show, three wins and one third place finish. 
The only thing Kyle can hope is that air pressure adjustment, that slight air pressure adjustment of up in the tire pressure as they run more laps will hurt Harvick's truck. Now, obviously, those guys down there know what they're doing. They plan on that, on those adjustments, because they know how many laps there are to go when they put the tires on. But the only thing that, that Kyle Busch can hope is that that truck doesn't perform over the long haul like it has all day, because if it does, he can't catch up with them. You know, we listened to that truck as he went to turn three and four on his onboard never backed off so you know wide opens wide open it's going to be very difficult to gain any ground if you're if you're Kyle Busch because he's running wide open in front of you look at Eric Almirola making the pass on the 30 of Todd Bodine bringing Stephen Wallace up there with him see if he can get a little bit of action off Todd but get all you can get right here get all you can get Again, it's hard. To go. Six to go. Kyle Busch, now Eric Almirola moves up to third. Todd Bodine to fourth. Steve Wallace is fifth. Ricky Carmichael running in a career best position, sixth. Timothy Peters, Johnny Sauter, Rick Crawford, and Austin Dillon are your top ten. Adam Alexander. Hey, Phil, what did you just say about five laps ago about Ricky Carmichael? I hope he can nurse this thing home and get the finish he deserves. He just came on the radio, said, I have a vibration. He said that at lap 123. When he crossed the start finish line at lap 124, they told him six laps to go. How's the vibration? He said it has not changed. Five laps to go for Carmichael. Keep an eye on him to see if he can hold out. Boy, I hope he does. Great position right now, running sixth. Down on the bottom of the racetrack, going by that 88 again. It had problems. It was behind the wall earlier today. I'm telling you, I believe if I have a vibration like Ricky Carmichael does, rhythm. I think I would run around the top of the racetrack. He's Won't hit as hard if you're up there, that's <laughs> exactly. for sure. He's opting for the yellow line, just like Rick Crawford. We ride along with Rick. In front of him, the 13. There's some side-by-side -side racing for fourth. Todd Bodine sliding back. Here comes the 15 of Steve oh, Wallace. Contact! contact. There, Todd boy. Bodine down. Clear. Come on. Steve Keep Wallace digging. went up. They continued. Going the right direction. Todd's been pushed around. He's been run into. He's been turned around. Todd might just say, you know, fifth's pretty good today. <laughs> Steve Wallace now going down to the bottom of the racetrack. There was contact between the 30 and the 15. Did it do damage to tires? That was pretty rugged there, Phil. Yeah, it looked pretty square. That uh, contact looked pretty square. Hopefully, they didn't get any fenders down on the tires. We saw what happened when. When if we had a fender rub with Ron Hornaday, it took about 23 laps for it to manifest itself. Take another look at what just happened. This is going through the quad oval. When they go into turn number one, Todd Bodine looks to come down and it looks like Steve Wallace looks to go up. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah. Todd didn't expect Stephen to take that line into the corner. And didn't look like Stephen cared what Todd expected. <laughs> Kevin Harvick has a 1.2 second lead over Kyle Busch with under two laps of racing to go. Kevin Harvick trying to make it three wins in a row in races he has entered in the Camping World Truck Series. He won at Phoenix. He won at Homestead to end the 2009 season and now looking to kick off 2010 with a win at Atlanta. White flag goes in the air. Kevin Harvick gets it. One and a half mile to go for Kevin Harvick. Remember, that means no green white checker. Once the leader gets the white flag, if anything happens on this lap, the race will be official. That truck was strong from the time they unloaded it, Rick. It's just uh, well back. pretty obvious he was going to be the truck to be after practice. He could just run 31 90s way longer than everybody else could. He wasn't any faster than them when they threw the green. Kevin Harvick comes out of turn number four, seventh career win in the Camping World Truck Series. What a dominating performance by Kevin Harvick and KHI. Great battle here. There's Johnny Sauter. That's eighth, ninth, and tenth. Rick Crawford, a great top ten. And Austin Dillon gets his first career top ten. Career best for him and for Ricky Carmichael. What a re rebound for our Daytona winner, Timothy Peters. And I think we've got to really applaud Steve Wallace. Missed the first oh, race on this ever engine. Camping I'm burnout, right, Ernie? <laughs> <laughs> first ever Camping World Truck Series start for Steve yeah, Wallace. That's a uh, red seal. We'll run it again. <laughs> there you have it. They're talking. Kevin does a pretty good job with a burnout, so I'm sure he's going to be disappointed. But remember, the rule in the truck series is you can only run two races in a row with a fresh motor. They plan on running this motor again. It was yeah. fresh coming in here. 